give love. Give love. That is the opposite of being a hater. <laughs> right? What you put out there comes back to you. If you're out there hating on people, oh, he wait, he wait, he always wait, wait. Kobe Bryant can score 40 points and hit the game winner, and somebody be out there like, he wait, he wait. He wait. If I said, any, ra all haters, raise your hand. Raise them, raise them. Nobody. Nobody want to say they're a hater, but I guarantee you there's some haters up in this room. Okay? Somebody up here hate oh he weak, he weak, he don't even know he's he's purpose. How oh, he weak. <laughs> Give love. That helps. It gets you in the right state of mind. And it also whatever you put out there, it comes back to you. Okay? If you're the type of person that is an encourager, when people come around you, they leave and they just feel better every time they leave. They're like, oh, I just feel better. I don't know why. He, I don't know what he's saying, but I just feel better <laughs> about myself. <laughs> right? You want to be the type of person to lift people up. Always encourage people. When somebody does something good, if you have that little something in your house, like, oh, why couldn't that be me? Or somebody win the lottery, you're like, oh, you don't deserve it. <laughs> you know? I'm talking about give love like giving money to that second homeless person. You know what I mean? Not that first one, because everybody can be like, oh, yeah, here, here. And then you walk down the street and you see another person ask for money. You're like, hey, I just go holler at your boy <laughs> and split that just in case you get half, right? But this ain't about giving money. I'm talking about giving something that's free. I'm talking about just for not expecting anything in return, just giving love, trying to realize that you are one with these people. You have, you have, we are all out here on this ball floating. Okay, let me change your perspective, or not change it, but just give you some perspective, right? We are on a rock floating in the middle of nowhere, a teeny, teeny tiny rock in the middle of nowhere. We're all on this same rock, just a bunch of, we're like little ants on the rock. If you zoom way, way down in on Earth, you'll see little bitty, teeny, tiny people with bombs, with car bombs, with militaries and fighting each other, killing each other. But if you go back from the moon, if you stand on the moon and look, it's just a rock. It's just a big, blue, beautiful ball. Right? And that's relatively close, the moon. Right? You can go to some of those far, far away planets and, the, and you don't even see the Earth. It'll just be a speck. Right? We are one thing. We get so caught up into our own thinking, thinking about ourselves and our own problems, and our own issues, that we don't realize that we are all in the same existence together. And if we're gonna, if we're gonna evolve as a collective consciousness, we're gonna have to start waking up to the reality that, oh, wait a second, the only thing that separates you from me is a bunch of thought. Your past and my past. My future, your future. But the present moment is the only thing that exists. The past only exists if you think about it right now. The future only exists if you think about it right now. So if you take out the past and the future which don't exist, then all we have is this. You and me. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>